You're watching Cars.TV. My name is Lucas Zinger. I'm the co-founder of Zinger Vehicles, and we're here in Carmel for the first day of Car Week. Today was very exciting for us. We revealed the second body variant to our 21C hypercar. We're calling it the VMAX, and we had a private reveal here tonight. And this is really the first time that we're fully participating in Car Week. Then the Quail tomorrow, and we've got a whole day of private events on Saturday, and then back on the concourse at Pebble Beach on Sunday. Technology first, which we covered a little bit, but once that technology was done, we went through a vehicle development plan as other car companies would. So from packaging the vehicle with our design team and our packaging team, to locking a surface on it, to then doing all the systems engineering. And there's amazing systems in this vehicle. We're talking seven speed transmission. That'll be the fastest shifting transmission in the world. We're talking 1350 horsepower hybrid powertrain. The electric motors, the V8 is our own design. Those are essentially all parallel running engineering projects where you've got a lead engineer, you've got a manufacturing engineer, you've got a designer, and you're integrating that all onto one platform. And then you build your prototype and you test your prototype. And that's some of the most fun, right? You, you've taken all this engineering, you've put it into a vehicle, you're running it for the first time. When we went out for the first time, we had some amazing performance, but we also learned some things. You know, we actually changed the width of the vehicle from the first prototype to this pre-production spec significantly. To different car companies, that would be a different vehicle altogether. But for us, we were able to reprint the suspension, re-engineer the front frame, the rear frame, put the car back together and get it back on the track all within three months. Essentially recreate the vehicle, re-optimize it, back running and then breaking records within three months. And that's the power of our technology. It's essentially taking what would be 10 years of development, compressing it into months of development. People ask, how did you make a car that's breaking records in this quick of a time? Well, we're not playing by their rules, right? We've created our own tools, and therefore we have different rules on how quickly we can design, how quickly we can manufacture, how quickly we can be back on the track testing. I love driving. You know, I'm, I'm not a world-class driver, but I definitely enjoy it. And I'd say I've driven a lot of cars, a lot of Porsches. I'm a Porsche fan. There's something different about driving our cars. The downforce we produce is nuts. We're talking 2,500 kilograms at 200 miles per hour. That's like having the world's heaviest pickup truck sitting on that rear wing. So there's a weird moment where you're driving faster and faster, but you're also feeling like you're getting more and more grip. At the same time, it's a strong hybrid. So we have the electric motors in the front, we've got the V8 in the rear. So for pull away, you get all that instant torque from the EV system. You get four wheel drive and you get all that torque fill from the EV side. So it's actually a very linear vehicle to drive. That might be the scariest thing is that you're pretty confident driving the world's fastest vehicle, right? The company itself is organized differently. We've got a fraction of the engineers that you would typically have. We run off what would be an early day Lockheed Skunk Works model. Take the full budget, but take a small fraction of the number of people, but make sure those people are really world class. Then two, we've got different tools from the way we design to the way we manufacture to the way we assemble. That's done differently. You don't have a structures team shifting around a CAD model. You've got a design engine that's AI based, generally designing that fully optimized suspension part. You're then reviewing that design, then you're printing it right away. So that's completely different. No one else has access to that optimization software. So therefore, no one else can make a structure that's as light or as stiff or high performing as ours. For us, it's really a moment to also look back and see how far we've come. This company started about seven years ago and it really started with technology creation. So making the materials, the actual alloys we print with, making the design software we use to design, the actual hardware that we print on, the 3D printers, the assembly systems, all of that was over 500 patents and five years of development. And you know, at the start, it's not very glorious. You're printing little tensile coupons this big, not hypercars that are you know, breaking every performance metric in the world. And now, you know, fast forward seven years, we're here revealing a record-breaking hypercar for the first time, really showing the public. And to me, Car Week is the mecca for car fans. You see, the amount of vehicles just driving around Carmel right now is absolutely nuts. And we're dead center in it. We're a big part of it this year. And for me, I'm, I'm just overjoyed to be here. 
We're ready to make a quick change here. <laughs> Lucas and I.